anyways, uh, hey guys. Um, I heard some disturbing rumors that's really making me, if it turns out to be true, I may never buy the Switch, ever. Um, but basically to get into a little background, you know, about the Switch, I, you've seen my videos, I've been very critical of it, not liking the direction that Nintendo has been going up until this point, and just the, the basic concept of the system. You know, I'm not big on the portability, and I just I have not liked Nintendo's direction ever since the Wii. I really, 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 really fucking hate motion controls. I think people understand the amount I hate motion controls. I think people underestimate how much I really, 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 really fucking hate, 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 really, royally fucking hate motion controls. Like, I hate them so much. I detest them so much. They make me want to vomit. Like, the Wii, the Wii really disgusted me as a system. I don't give a flying fuck how many systems that sold. That system was a piece of fucking shit. Absolute garbage. The Switch is obviously way fucking better, even though I don't like, really like the Switch anyways. That's all I'll get into. It's the Wii philosophy, which they seem to be changing. Okay, I'll admit when they do things that are good. They seem to be changing. In, in, in some ways, you know, getting different titles. I, I, I just can't stand that fucking mo philosophy and mindset of the Wii. You know, the gimmicky blue ocean motion controls. Like, I'm not into that shit. I do not want to wave my arms around. I do not want to waggle to play a game. I want to sit there with a normal fucking controller in my hand, or if it's like a handheld type device, like normal fucking controls, and play the game. That's it. No dancing around, no waving my arms around, no motion controls, no dancing with a freaking VR headset on. I just want to play a game. And Nintendo has had that mindset of the Wii ever since, you know, the Wii U. I did get that system, it was given to me as a gift. I thought it was a decent little system, you know? And it didn't really have the motion controls, although it carried over a lot of the Wii accessories. As you know, it did have the fucking motion controls and the friggin' gyros and the fucking Star Fox U. Oh my god. It, like, it just doesn't stop. And then you think, okay, here comes the Switch. Are they finally gonna change? I know you have control options. I know a lot of games have different options for controls, but not every game supports every option. And clearly, a lot of these games are made with the motion controls in mind and the developers usually have the motion controls as the default fucking option i do not like this shit nintendo i will never like this shit nintendo and the more you put fucking gimmicky ass motion controls as the forefront main standard control option of your system i'm not gonna fucking be happy but anyways games that would make me want to buy the switch despite my feelings of it being overpriced despite it's fucking cold out here, minus 20, over minus 20 degrees Celsius, and I got no gloves. I, please forgive me for the shaking of the camera, but, you know, despite, you know, overpriceness and, you know, lack of certain titles, there are certain games that would make me want to buy the system, even though it has most controls as standard. Um, uh, something like a Super Mario RPG 2, um, made by, get the original team together from Square, and, uh, you know, get some good guys from Enix too and make a true sequel to that game. I, I would fucking be really wanting to get a Switch if they made something like that. Or, and this is where the main thing of the game, uh, the title of the video is, and sorry, I have to keep this video really short, under two minutes enough, because my phone has lack of memory. Um, uh, like those RPGs, right? Um, a, a true 3D Pokemon RPG that would have more than one region that would have, you know, your your gym battles you know, your grinding to get to the Elite Four and would have some overarching storyline something big to do post-game, you know, after you do your traditional journey have your Pokemon follow you you know, see more Pokemon <clears throat> around in the world and the cities have the world feel more lived in and alive you know, obviously, you know, keep it turn-based 
right? Because that's what Pokemon is. That's the core of what it fucking is. It's a turn-based RPG, leveling up, grinding for experience. That's what it fucking is supposed to be. Here's the issue. I hear a lot of rumors that Pokemon is going to switch its battle system from a turn-based RPG into a generic fucking action game. It's basically going to be an arena battle, a motherfucking MOBA. Why do you brain-dead, re mentally fucking retarded New Age asshats want to turn everything into a generic action game? I've seen so many great franchises and properties and fun games change their core gameplay into something generic action for these stupid, stupid ass New Age asshats. I, I, I can't stand, why are you doing this? I mean, look at the the Final Fantasy VII uh, remake. They fucking gutted that. Final Fantasy VII is a turn-based RPG. It's the ATB version of that, but it is a fucking turn-based RPG. You get rid of the turn-based RPG, you get rid of the heart and soul of Final Fantasy VII. And you want... I, this could be a rumor, but I my, my heart is saying that it's true. And I hope I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll be very happy that I'm wrong, but... You want to take Pokemon from being a turn-based RPG and turn it into a generic fucking action battler? You are going to gut the heart and soul of this franchise. That is the one game that would make me buy a Switch. You do this shit, that will ensure I never buy a Switch.